Hello, welcome to another episode of Beer Talk uh, from BeerProfessors.com. This is Tim. I'm Johnny. It was harassing me. The very first video we did, I was nervous. I said BeerProfessors.com. No, you said I'm way cooler the first time. <laughs> it's okay. Watch the first video. I watched it the first 20 seconds. Listen to Johnny say Beer Professors. <laughs> Coming back to you again. Uh, numbers keep climbing. Thank you, everybody. Please, again, keep subscribing. Keep liking our fan page. Like it a lot. So, uh, today's episode is another fan and friend. He's a good friend, and he's a fan of our little chats here. Uh, Rob was going to come today. He couldn't make it. Um, so cool. Uh, we're going to do another fan viewer. How would we say? What do you mean another? It's our first book fan nope. viewer. No, we did last week's. Who Someone, suggested we did that? They one. suggested it was a fan that said we should do Stella. So this is oh, our second yeah, one. Right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're you right. see, not scripted. <laughs> We're not you're scripted. Right. Just some tools in a, sh in a garage. <laughs> uh, so this is our second one. And not only did he tell us what beer to do, he also told us how we should review it. Which is great, because <laughs> I don't have to cool. stick my hand in Johnny's hat of shame and embarrassment <laughs> and pull out random things. So please continue to send that stuff. No one's ever things. complained about that before. They don't have to put their hand in there either. <laughs> it's a glorious day. So what he suggested we do today comes all the way from Milwaukee. Pax Blue Ribbon. PBR. Do you have a story you'd like to say about PBR? I don't know that I have a story, but it's, I think it's kind of funny how it was thought of like garbage beer for a long time, and then the hipsters started drinking it. I guess it was just clever marketing like we discussed all the time. Clever marketing, yeah. Um, I mean, the first time I had it was back in 2006. Buddy Jonathan came over, which he's going to also... Uh, elaborate and share some stuff later in the future. Uh, we were in Target. So we were looking for a beer to drink. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> and he's like, have you ever had PBR? Never had it. 12 pack was only 8 bucks. 8.99. He's like, you know, I think they're going to take this beer away and we should try it. And I didn't think it was too bad. One thing he pointed out, which I want to say, which I know we weren't going to talk about the histories of beer. We're just going to get into it, but Something I want to say is that this was awarded best beer, best American beer, got the blue ribbon, 1893. You know what else I just read? What? That in 2015 it won the award for the best uh, American brewery amongst the big. Really? Yes. Well, you see, so just like the Cubs, it finally got another award. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's hard, I mean, even though it's 1893, it's hard to get a blue ribbon, I would think. I agree. I mean, when I was in school, I never had a blue ribbon. Did you ever get a blue ribbon? I usually got, got this one. You got a blue ribbon? I usually got red, yellow. What about trophies? Did you get trophies for playing baseball? Yeah, I got trophies. I got a participation trophy before. The white ribbon, which I thought was garbage. I'll give you a blue ribbon, Johnny. So, it's, I mean, blue ribbon is hard to get by. So, to be the best beer of 1893, I think that's it. You know what else, what, what I think about when I think about this too is like 20 something years ago, whenever I first started drinking, people would buy this because it's cheap. Yeah. And it's still cheap. Like you could probably buy this 16 ounce in a bar for two bucks. Yeah. Maybe even less. In, in some places. I got the four pack of these for 3 8 3 8 3 God, maybe I'll really, really like it because that thing just. <laughs> Really cheap. So, I mean, let's just open it, drink it. I don't think we could really. This dude on the back is metal looking. I know, I mean, they're getting cooler cans now. I mean, giving back to musicians in need. How nice that looks that? like the guy from Rancid. Uh, probably not, but. I and mean, then they, they blocked out everyone's eyes. That's a major punk crowd. I don't even know if I feel appropriate drinking this out of a No, I think this is what we should keep in the can. So, you like it better than you can. That is true. And now before we start reviewing it, our friend says we should review it like a president. So I'm going to go ahead and expound on that. We'll do president, presidential hopefuls, 
it's not going to be anything political, don't worry about it. We're just going to try to sound like a president, and if they were debating or trying to sell themselves, they're going to sell the beer. So, Tim? You can go first. You, you want me to go first? You've practicing a lot, I think, so. I was practicing. Uh, we've kept it under wraps. You know, I gave you kind of an insight on mine. You've been hiding it from me, so I can't wait to see. <laughs> so, here we go, PBR. This beer, this beer is beautiful. This beer is great. I think what we're gonna do, again, this is great. It's beautiful. What we're gonna do is we're gonna build a brewery with PBR. We're gonna get Miller to pay for it. And this is beautiful. It's big. It's great. And I'm gonna go to this brewery and I'm gonna drink it with Kofefe. We're Donald Trump, I guess, right? I try. This <laughs> beer is really good. I drink it at the White House. I like to drink it in the Rose Garden. My wife on a hot day. It's really good. I like this beer. That oddly sounded like yourself. Which president what were you doing? I'm Millard Fillmore. Leonard Fillmore. Millard Fillmore. Who? Millard Fillmore, president. I gotta read up. What president was he? he? Was he 14 or something? Before they recorded people, so you don't really know what he sounded like. But he was from Buffalo. Well, he was from right outside of Buffalo. He died in Buffalo. He was a mayor of Buffalo. I'm from Buffalo. So if I was born in 1800, I'd probably sound just like him. So you think all people from the 1800s, that's a man, sounded like you because they came no, from No, but we're from the same area. So a white guy from Buffalo probably doesn't sound that much different than me. And who's to say he didn't sound exactly like me because he's never been recorded before? Okay. <laughs> so that's what you've been practicing all week. <laughs> okay. So. Um, I didn't have to practice that much. <laughs> I don't know. The other night you were sweating and you told me you were going to do it. I don't know. I still could have done better than that. Go ahead. I think you have another one. They, yeah, I have another one. I'm going to try. Let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. I stand here today before you telling you about PBR. If I was in Chicago and running into a store, I would try this beer. And you should too. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was good. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. So good. What else can I say about it? I'm the president. This was around, it's 1844. I've got to enjoy this on many a day at the presidential palace. It's great. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Ronald Reagan. <laughs> and when I'm sitting in the Oval Office with Nancy, We've had PBR before. <laughs> and when I was in serious talks with Mikhail Gorbachev, I said, Mr. Gorbachev, <laughs> drink this beer. <laughs> Good job. Go ahead, Mr. Fillmore. <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. It's, I think it's, it's what beer should taste like. If I think about Beer that you'd steal from your mother, this is what it tasted like. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I mean, absolutely. I'll do one more. I'll do one for the older crowd. Uh, you might know who this is, who I'm trying to be. So you put a lot of work into this, huh? You should be very proud. You know, I was trying all week. If I would have known, you would have, if I would have known you were doing that, <laughs> <laughs> I would have tweeted all morning, wondering what I was going to do. <laughs> Kofefe. Uh, <laughs> so for the older crowd, this was a presidential hopeful. <laughs> I am Atros Perot, and I was looking at my notes, and I was reading, and reading very hard, and I thought PBR is worthy, and we should all try it. You didn't listen to me before, listen to me now, you should get this bigger. It's beautiful, it's great. <laughs> 
Alright, so, as you were just trying to have fun with it, I knew mean, you can't really get serious with PBR, I, I'd say. I wouldn't say you get serious, but on a serious note, <laughs> as serious yeah. we can get, you know, it's really cold. It's cold. It's, uh, it's not bad. I'd like it better than a bun, or a banquet beer, or Billy beer, <laughs> but, uh... Oh, can you do Jimmy Carter now? Can you do Jimmy Carter? Carter? <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm um, sorry. <laughs> um, this is Jimmy Carter. <laughs> but um, no, I mean, like, I think you brought up a good point. It's a good cheap beer. Can I have another one? Yes, go right ahead. Um, just to give you an example, I was at a concert the other night uh, here at Jimmy House of Blues. Blues. Yeah, go ahead. you can show the fans. It's a clear beer. Going back to the value cheap factor. I was at a concert, Chevelle, awesome, at the House of Blues here in Orlando, and going to the Valley side, you could have got a regular 12 ounce can of Yingling for $7.50, or a 16 ounce can of PBR for $7.50. I got the extra four ounces. I don't know if I'd take the Pepsi challenge against Yingling even for an extra four ounces. Yingling is much better than this, but... When you, when you drink it, I can see why you drink it out of the can instead, because if you drink it out of the glass, it doesn't smell very good at all. Yeah, I never noticed that. It smells like... I don't know what it smells like, but it doesn't smell very good. Like rotten corn. Well, that's probably why you're going to keep it. Every time I went to a restaurant again, I went to one restaurant for happy hour, and, uh... They had one beer in happy hour, and it was, oh, you got some, did you shave or something? You got a like, toilet paper band-aid. What are you talking about? <laughs> you just took it off. I don't know what it was. Oh, um, it was Oh, uh, that, that looked like paper. Um, one beer, happy hour, 320 for 16 ounces, PBR. So, either $5 for my favorite Chud Bright or PBR. I love my Chud Bright, but again, value at it. Yeah, it's not bad. It, it's not a bad beer. Going back, I guess we go back to your analogy every week. Would you drink it on a hot day after you cut the grass? Oh, hells yeah. Hells yeah. I almost want to go cut the grass right now, even though it's dark out. I just saw it. Just so we could have more PBR. But if there's one thing about it, it has to be very freezing cold. cold. Very cold. That's why we have our... If it even starts cooler. to get slightly warm. You can't drink it. No. In fact, you have to drink it fast, too, because if it starts to get warm, it'll get... Buck crack nasty. Yeah. So there you have it. PBR. It's cheap. Uh, if you're a gamer and you're going to play video games all night long, you're looking for a 12 pack, why not? If you're going to cut your grass, why not? If you're at a concert like me and you want that extra four ounces, why not? If you're in the Rose Garden, the White House. It's beautiful, it's big. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna enjoy it, cafe. Yeah, I uh, would, yeah, go drink it. There you have it. Uh, explain the new rating system, John. New rating system, thank you. Uh, apparently, you know, Tim was like saying, hey, you know, I just can't do a glass up, glass down. This is getting really scientific and deep, so we gotta have at least a number. I never said scientific and deep, I said some things are, yeah, uh, there's more things that are bad. That's what I got. So, uh, you got corn cobs in your ears, son? <laughs> We're just gonna do zero to five. I'm teetering between three and four. I'm giving it a solid three. Solid three, I, I would agree with three. Why not? We're giving it a three, definitely, try it. And if it gets warm, it'll be like, It'll go at to point five. Dump it. Don't even bother. You gotta. I know they say don't chug beer. You shouldn't. You know. Again, we're all about the appreciation of beer, but you do have to drink. You can't talk like we are for like no. eight minutes and reminisce. Don't about, nurse this PBI. Don't nurse. Don't reminisce. But, this, about but people probably do it. Like people that don't really drink probably get this because it's what the cool kids drink now. Yeah. Like, oh look, I'm drinking my PBR. Yeah. I can't drink this for an hour. You're stupid. Drink okay. something else. Drink. Some wine or something, yeah. but no, it's to me. End of the story. I give it three. three. This is like 
the beer that you grew up on. It, yeah. It's what beer should taste like. In my Pretty opinion. much. I agree. And there you have it, another episode. Again, be responsible. Uh, don't drive. Don't drink and drive. And uh, please, 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 we're climbing. Every week it seems like we're climbing. Like, like, like. Subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe, it's over here somewhere. I'm Johnny. This is Tim. Tim. And uh, thank you for watching. Later. This is beautiful. This is great. <laughs> See you next week, Kofefis. <laughs> we're out. Bye-bye.